right, Gemini, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for June 2018. And Gemini, like, I love how you look coming into this month because, first of all, we've got Mercury over there in your sign. There's going to be a new moon happening in your sign. Plus, we're switching seasons. We're going to be coming into the uh, summer solstice, right? All that's delicious. And then we hit a Mars retrograde coming June 26th. But the beginning part of the month, you are just in a really good place, I think. So let's start at the beginning of the month, okay? First of all, coming into the month, you do have Mercury in your sign, which is phenomenal. This is on go. There's lots of thinking and thinking and thinking and minds going and all of these good things are just happening for you. There's a lot, I think of energy that you're comfortable in. And what's always interesting for an air sign is how that energy sometimes tends to be very much so in your head. So you'll need to remember in the beginning of the month to drop down into your body and drop into some conversation outside of yourself. Now with Mercury up here in this Gemini energy, so much of the head, I've really been focusing on the head for you guys this year. Um, again, if you have things like TBI, if you have brain things going on. This could also be a very stimulating energy to any one of those issues. So you want to be mindful of whatever your practices are to stay on par, that you're not so overstimulated that you're actually making yourself crazy or you're getting mental exhaustion. I also feel like Mercury in your sign at this particular time, you have to pay attention not to be too, too on the go so that that nervous system of yours is just racked up and you're having a hard time sleeping. So try and do your best to stay hydrated, get some sleep and pay attention to that, but enjoy it because it seems to me that your communications are just on fleek. Then we get to the 12th of the month where Mercury is going to join Venus over here in Cancer. And for you, this is in the second house. Where I think this is so good for you is you've had all of this communication stuff going on. So now here in your second house, if you're having to have conversations about financial things at work, if you're having to have conversations about skills, talents, your value, any of these things in like a work or a value setting, I think that these are really phenomenal for you. I'm even saying like if you need to negotiate parts for your car, let's just say, whatever it is, this Mercury-Venus combination here it has you sounding like you're just slipping some butter to people, right? It's just coming out so good. They're hearing you so good. This is a really a beautiful energy. So if you want to ask for raise this might be an okay time to do that as well now on the 13th we've got the new moon happening in your sign at the same time we've got venus moving out of cancer into leo into your third house so again you see communication is just such a theme for you this month and the uh, universe has really kind of got your back with it so if you're needing to have conversations negotiations sign contracts things like that this is a really pretty good energy for you to be working with now this new moon happening in your sign remember the new moon says we want to initiate things, plant these seeds of intention so that they can sprout, so that they can grow. And for you, this is your annual signal, right? It's been birthday time. Happy freaking birthday. So not only are you having a solar return, now you've got this lunar energy that's saying, Gemini, what do you want to be this year? Let's set in motion these intentions. What is it that you really want to come to you over this next year? And here's what I would tell you. With Venus and Leo, you've got Mercury up here in the second law. Think sexy. Think indulgent. Think luxurious. What does your luxurious life look like? And that could be very different for you, right? This could also be a wonderful time to manifest new things in money right? New communications, new contacts, new networking, so that you can be in the right place at the right time because people will help your dreams come true. So keep that in mind here, all right? When we get to the 18th of this month, we're going to have Neptune taking a retrograde all the way until November. And Neptune is an outer energy. So sometimes it's very, very subtle. But this is going to be at the top of your chart. So this is the career space. So with Neptune, one of the things I always think is great to do with the Neptune energy is to re-spiritualize right? Relook at this career. Relook at your reputation. Relook at your purpose. What are you giving out into the world, right? Is it spiritually fit? 
Is it sound? Is it divine? Is it creative? Is it, is it, does it, does it take care of our young? Does it take care of our old? Does it take care of our sick? Right? Like, how are you showing up? What's the spirituality behind what you're giving? And that's going to be a very subtle retrograde for you to relook at. But let's bring the compassion. Let's bring the forgiveness. Let's bring some closure, maybe even, to maybe a chapter of your life, Gemini, right? Did you, did you have a relationship in that was maybe something long? Long term and, and now you need to bring some spiritual closure to that or you're working towards it you're gonna have a beautiful amount of time to be able to do that all the way until November now on the 21st of the month we've got the Sun moving into cancer yes this signals that we have got the summer solstice going on in Western astrology we follow the seasons not the constellations so this is again another renewal we're in a whole new season and it's the one where you get to pull your shoulders out it is just very nice energy again giving a lot of love to your second house value 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 how do you make money what's your value where are you at in your self-esteem because these are kind of the setup for your next year of manifestations as well Gemini so grab on to this okay on the 26th, we've got Mars taking this retrograde, and it's going to be here in Aquarius. So this is lighting up the space of your ninth house. So I'm going to tell you right now, my students, you may have delays. You may have frustrations. If you're learning, you're trying to get a certificate, you're teaching, you're trying to do some international travel, you're trying to broadcast that YouTube channel out there for the first time, there may be frustrations delayed because a Mars retrograde, we're going to, of course, retrograde, re, re-look at, reconsider, redo, re-strategize. But what? Well, everything in the ninth house, domestic, international, or excuse me, not domestic, but international travel, broadcasting, putting yourself out there in any way, which includes publishing, advertising, teaching, um, philosophy, anything having to do with the church. The ninth house I teach is about faith. You may be really relook at, relooking at how you're coming about your faith, right? What are the actions you're taking? Do you have a daily practice of some kind of faith? I mean, what, what are you out there believing in? Right? And what are you out there relying on? What are you out there tapping into? This is a wonderful question about that. Why are you putting your energy into a certain kind of faith? Is it helping you? Do you feel good? Do you feel vibrant when you get up in the morning as you're tapping into that particular practice? Right? So all of these ninth house things are going to get a re-strategizing and it is all about bringing you up to snuff with the buzz, right? Bringing you into the flow of things. So if you find it frustrating, remember, Mars is just retrograde. It's not no, it might just be not now, but keep baby stepping it forward and or backwards as the case may be to relook at what you need to adjust. On the 28th, we've got a full moon happening here in Capricorn. This is going to be lighting up your eighth house. The full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. And I'm telling you flat out, you may have a connection with a source of income that you do not earn, but it is given to you and it could be taken away and or there will be an adjustment to you, right? Because the full moon, while it does end something, it brings something to culmination it's also a fresh beginning because once something ends something else has to start right so you know maybe you did go through something in a relationship and now you've got you know a financial plan set up on the other side of that um, maybe you thought you were gonna be single forever in a day and you find yourself in some very committed intimate relationship this could also be a really good energy for things with finances that were joint maybe taxes um, any of those kinds of things. This is a wonderful energy to bring those things to an end. Now, I will say this too. I think that this particular full moon, because it's in the sign of Capricorn, he wants to achieve, he wants to do something. If you've been wanting to study or teach astrology, tarot, any of the metaphysics, this is uh, metaphysicals, this is a wonderful energy for you to make a fresh start and a new beginning. Beautiful, intimate energy. On the 29th, we've got Mercury moving on, moving into the sign of Leo, and he's going to be here for a very long time because we've also got some retrograde energies happening as well. And this will be, again, giving some life to your third house. So communication, I think, comes back to the table, to the thought process. Um, if you are working on a website, Mercury here is very business savvy and he is not retrograde. So this is a wonderful energy to help you think about how you're writing, how you're presenting yourself or how you're doing something out there. If you're looking to study, again, a wonderful energy that is very, very good for helping you absorb all of the details of the nitty gritties that you may be studying. So it's going to be a good month. I think everything this month is point at, pointed at helping you maximize your energies 
for the rest of the year and for your next year. What do you wanna do? Why are you putting your energies there? What's your real desire? And how are you gonna go about getting these things out there? So it's gonna be a good month. Keep me posted on everything that happens because I love following your journeys through the month, seeing what's come up, what's been real for you, right? So let me know in the comment section down below. All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love you. If you need me, I'm at stormygrace.com. Bye, guys.